join me for this morning's morning prayer, bringing uh, with you the concerns on your heart, the members of your family and friends that, that are in need of God's touch in their life. Uh, I'd invite you to lift those names at the time in the prayer when we have uh, the second moment of silence. We'll pause now to prepare our hearts, and then in the prayer, I'll ask that you take a moment and lift the names of those who, who you have on your heart. Eternal and loving God, today we pause to say thank you say, for safely hiding us from all of the dangers of life and for finding us for your purpose. We give thanks to you for the blessings that allow us to live and to move and to have our being and to share generosity with others. We give you thanks for help that enables us to keep going in this difficult time where so many are sick and isolated and alone. We give you thanks. Lord, we, we pray for help. Life can sometimes be difficult and life can sometimes be a time we feel we need to hide instead of come out of the bushes. Maybe it's that way for some of us. But Lord, we know that our help comes from you. And for this, we give you thanks. Lord, we, we give you thanks for not only help, but also hope. We, we know that the moment will come and the joy will break forth when we are able to meet again face to face. But until that time, the hope of the world is not diminished. Our prayers continue, our proclamation continues, our witness continues, our mission continues. You are the hope of the world. And we make sure that that hope continues. Thank you for hope. Lord, we thank you for healing, for the escape from the snare of sickness and death by the love and life of Jesus Christ. And before you now, we pause and lift the names of those we remember in need of our prayers. Gracious God, remind all of us that we are part of your body and that no one of us is more important than the other, and that all of us have a function to perform. Help us to know what that function is, but more importantly, to know who and what you are by more than words. Help us by acts of love and mercy and grace to unite people of every age, of every color, of every orientation, in your purpose. This we pray in the name of him who taught us to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.